Welcome to Machines and More. Today we're going to continue our look here at Cooler Masters 2023 Computex exhibit at their Nehu office. And we're going to focus in on their cooling or their thermal products that they're releasing. And yes, I'll get to that funny looking NR200 in a little bit. Cooler Master is doing custom cooling. The Master Loop lineup is a full suite of custom loop components designed to make your open loop build all the more interesting, starting with the square fittings. Let's talk first talk about the fittings. Okay. Usually the product, you, the open loop product you can find in the market, they all made the wrong shape of the fittings, right? Yeah. But there's a, a issue or point that I want to discuss. As you can see, the motherboard and GPU itself has a slick design and sharp shapes, mm. but paired with the wrong shape of fittings, the looking will be a little bit weird actually. Right. So that's why I decided to make the square fittings for I the user. That. So okay. we can provide another option to the DIY customer to build another style, a new style of the PC systems. Can you so, show me how that uh, how that comes apart? Yeah. Just like ordinary wrong shapes. Oh, okay. Except it's square. Yes. And the one benefit of it being square, it's really easy to turn compared yes, to round Yes, of course. Thing. That's neat. Yeah, like this. So you guys are doing, these are what, uh, compression fittings for the hard tubing? Yes. Do you have soft tubing also, or just hard? Uh, in progress. In progress, okay. <laughs> T fittings, oh, these are yes, modular. Uh, ball valves. Okay, ball valves. Yes. And, and, and three-way. Three-way. Yes. We have another uh, adapter. Upcoming. Yeah. Which is for showcase we can uh, there's such a you, you can you can make that into a 90, just cover yes, of the, course. Yeah. Next one is talk about a radiator. Yes. As you can see the fan density. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> Pretty high. Very high. It's most of the high density we can achieve right now. As you can see the fins, it's not a vertical. It's a little bit twist, right? It's because from this side of view, the fin shape will be ace shapes. Uh -huh. It's not a vertical go Yes. So what, you, so what do you call it? Diagonal stack? Uh, ace shapes. Yeah. S pin. We call it S pin. Yeah, because we want to aim to increase more air content area. Okay. Two color tone design. Okay. In whether you want to change it, uh, you would like a black color yep. or you like a gray color, just turn over. Oh, wow. Yes. The fittings are on both sides or just one side? Uh, both. Both sides? Yes. Uh, Upon closer inspection, the one that they had at the exhibit definitely only had the fittings on one side. So I'm guessing this is because it's a prototype, because otherwise that design element would be silly. So, so you also have a 40 millimeter yes, version it, here. It's pretty sick. And a 27 millimeter. Oh, there is size. Is this uh, optimized for something like a more performance-oriented fan, like the Mobius fan? Yes, of course. And you've also got a CPU block with some really, really, really fine micro fins here. 0 0.06 millimeter thick heat fins. Can you screen here? I cannot the because sky. it's too fine here. Okay. I was told this is uh, 0 0.06 Six millimeter. It's the uh, most advanced technology we can achieve right now. Yeah. In the current it's piece, incredibly piece fine. Lot. Yes. Uh, wow. And um, compared to the air cooler, it's a double this, density. This pop has no problem with that, right? Yeah. You are looking at it right because now. I was also told that this block is not AM5 or LGA 1700 specific. Instead, they'll just include a different mounting mechanism. In addition to the CPU block, they've also got an in-house designed pump res unit. The pump res unit here is quite large and it makes use of a swimming pool design. And this one is a uh, race of course. We also call it water tanks. We call it a yep. 3D water tanks. Yep. Just like a swimming pool here. I saw that. Yeah. It's designed not to fill all the way. Yes, because you don't need a flow meter anymore. And another thing here. It's a pump. It's a cool yes. master in-house design pump. Okay. And actually, so this that's pump, your pump. That's not a D5. Yeah, not a D5, not a DC. And the performance, as you can see, D5 and DC require to connect the power supply of the solar yes. cable power, yes. right? Yeah. Ah, four pin. Yeah, four pin fan headers. Yeah. Look so at you that. just need to direct attach to the motherboard. To round out the ensemble, they've got a GPU block for select 4090 cards. Same technology of the things. Okay. On GPU solutions. 
And for GPU solution, we support the uh, Asus ROG, MSI, and Gigabyte Oros for 1490 series. Okay. Yeah, because it's kind of the open loop system. The target audience also requires the uh, most high end equipment. Okay. So I think they don't need uh, to do the water cooling on 1470. Right. Because 1470 doesn't have uh, it's, it's high TDP. Well, I would hope they make a 4070 water block soon because I would love to look for cool mine. Quite a few components, so a quick recap here. You've got square fittings for a square aesthetic, hard tube only for now. 27 or 40 millimeter duo tone radiators uh, with heat fins that have an S-shaped cross section. Also this in-house developed pump in a three-dimensional reservoir that features swimming pool style returns and a CPU block with 0 0.06 millimeter heat fins. And finally that GPU block for certain 4090s also featuring very fine heat fins. In terms of AIOs, there's a few updates here. There's the Master Liquid 360 Atmos. This AIO is crafted partially from recycled materials. You've also got Gen 2 ARGB on the pump block and a removable customizable pump top cover, which you can tailor to your build by 3D printing one yourself. Cooler Master also announced a Master Liquid 360 Ion, which I didn't see displayed here, uh, but it is yet another AIO this year with an LCD screen. And as soon as I get to check it out, I will let you guys know. So this interesting looking NR200P is not a product of a custom loop gone wrong. It's not water. This is mineral oil and is non-conductive, so it can do the job of coolant conducting the heat exchange. It's uh, working its way through the heat sinks that have the fans removed. It's a very interesting concept. It's probably not something uh, that you're just gonna be able to do at home because it requires the entire case to be sealed off quite extensively along with other specialized hardware that you would need to circulate the mineral oil, but it's a really interesting looking build, isn't it? This other build next to it doesn't use mineral oil. It's a liquid by the trade name Florinert. This is an electrically insulating fluorocarbon based liquid with varying boiling points, but the one they are deployed here has a relatively low boiling point. So you can see that it's actually boiling next to the CPU block quite vigorously. And that vapor is moving up through the heat fins above. That vapor is gonna cool quickly in that heat fins and you'll, it's condensing back to liquid. Then you see that cooled liquid drip back down. Probably not going to be on a retail shelf anytime soon because these are just proof of concept test builds, but for science. It's starting to rain here, and I think that our, our day draws to a close here. Hope you found the coverage here informative, exciting, fun, and helpful. If so, please uh, make sure you're subscribed, please give a like. And uh, yeah, I know it's been just a limited amount of time to see quite a lot of things. We met a lot of friends here. And uh, thanks for joining me here on this trip here, Machines Around the World. And I will see you in the next video.